To another big story we are watching here at this hour. Two men in a tow truck shot in the middle of the night on the city's north side. Neighbors ran for cover. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is live from where it all happened in the Villa neighborhood. Megan, you have been digging on this and you've learned that tow truck should not have been on the road in the first place. Right, Jim and Marie, we learned this tow truck company has been cited dozens of times by both the city and the state, and they're not even licensed to operate in the city of Chicago. Surveillance cameras captured the rapid fire sound of gunshots around 2 a.m. CPD said two men were in this parked tow truck in the 3600 block of North Avondale when someone in a dark SUV started firing shots. One man was shot in the stomach. The other suffered a graze wound to the head. A horrified neighbor told us a bullet struck his house and nearly hit his sleeping wife. I knew that there was a bullet somewhere in the house uh, and found that it was within a foot of my wife's head where she was sleeping. We discovered the truck shouldn't have been on the road. The state has cited the company serious business towing 19 times since December 2021, mostly for not giving vehicle owners the proper disclosure before the tow. The city of Chicago also issued six cease and desist orders to serious business. That came as a result of 49 citations. We know the company is also on the radar of CPD. Former customer Cheryl Schultz filed a police report last month against Sirius Business, which towed her vehicle at the end of November when the company held her car hostage for three weeks. I'm thinking, how do they get away with this? That they keep going out and towing people's cars illegally when they have all these cease and assist orders on them. She couldn't believe they were licensed to operate. Turns out they're not. We'll have more on her story coming up at 5. As for those two men shot in the tow truck at last check, both were listed in fair condition. Live in the villa, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.